What if things you were told as a child weren't entirely true? What if your favorite childhood stories had a deeper meaning? What if fairy tales are more rooted in real life than you thought? In this podcast, we'll be linking some of your most treasured fairy tale stories to some of the most horrific true crime cases. We'll be discussing possible motives by working with our audience in hopes to get a deeper understanding of the morbid backstories of these tales. I'm Annie Goydas. I'm Adriana Diaz. And I'm Billy Harrison. And this is Once Upon a Crime. Jealousy. Fiercely protective or vigilant of one's rights or possession. The Grimm Brothers' take on the classic fairy tale Cinderella is an interesting one to say the least. We start off right away with Cinderella's mother dying, and only a few years later, her father remarrying a woman with two daughters. The step family is very cruel to Cinderella. They force her to do all the work, take care of the stepsisters, and even sleep in a cold, dingy attic. Cinderella's only friends are the birds in her garden. Years later, the prince puts out a ball notice. The stepfamily tells Cinderella that she can't go. She's too dirty, and she has chores to do around the house. Cinderella weeps at her mother's grave, and her mother grants her the wish to go. She provides her with beautiful golden slippers and a lovely dress. For all three nights of the ball, Cinderella dances with the prince, but leaves before midnight so as to return home before her stepfamily. However, on the third night of the ball, the prince puts tar on the steps of the palace, causing Cinderella to leave her shoe behind. The prince then takes the shoe and journeys to every maiden's house in the kingdom, trying to find the one whose foot fits. When he gets to the stepsisters, they find that neither of their feet quite fit into the shoe. So they cut off parts of their toes and their heels. But before they can make it back to the castle to marry the prince, Cinderella's bird friends tattle on them. He returns to the house to find Cinderella, and discovers that she is the one he has been looking for. He tells her that he wishes to marry her, and on the day of their wedding, the stepsisters are groveling, saying, We've been so kind to you! The birds peck their eyes out, causing them to go blind, and Cinderella and the prince live happily ever after. So we asked our Instagram followers the question, why would a parent abuse their stepchild? We received responses like, the child isn't biologically related to them, so they feel the child serves no purpose. They see the kid as a threat to the relationship. There's a lack of attention from their spouse due to the child being there. They're jealous of the spouse's relationship with the child and a reminder of past relationships. It was interesting to see all the different points of views. However, the one that really stood out to us was they feel inferior to the child. Could this be the motivation for the true crime case known as the Chrissy Thomas case? When Chrissy Thomas was three, her mother died in a car accident. Two years later, her father remarried to a woman named Isabella. At six years old, Isabella destroyed a teddy bear that was given to Chrissy by her mother. At the age of 10, Chrissy was forced to be fattened, being fed abundant amounts of food. Chrissy faced physical abuse on the daily, such as her scalp being burned with a blow dryer and her hair being washed by forcing her head under the bathtub to the point where she couldn't breathe. Ethan, Isabella's son from a previous relationship, was never asked to lift a finger. Isabella had an inexhaustible supply of hatred towards Chrissy. A lack of a genetic tie and a lack of tenderness resulted in Isabella's abuse towards Chrissy. So that's the story of Cinderella and Chrissy Thomas. In our next episode, we'll be discussing the story of Hansel and Gretel and its dark origins. I'm Annie Guaydas. I'm Adriana Diaz. And I'm Millie Harrison. And this has been Once Upon a Crime.